Hey guys, it's Caleb here. Um, I just wanted to make this post to let you guys know what's happening. Um, I have a very severe illness called complex regional pain syndrome. And what it is, is it's one of the most painful diseases in the world. And um, it's it's got to do with nerves and everything like that. And then what has happened is it spreads like wildfire and it spread to another part of my body. And last week, um, not only did it spread, but then it had a pain flare. Uh, so usually I'm at a set, set level of pain all the time. And what happened this time was I was at a set level of pain, got a new area hurt, uh, affected by the disease, then I got a flare on top. I ended up having to go to the hospital, get treated and everything like that. Um, I really do apologize for uh, not being able to communicate with you guys properly. Um, and I really hope that you guys still want to watch the channel and everything like that. I am going to be trying to get back into the flow of things and doing videos again. Uh, it may be a little bit slow to start as the pain still has been incredibly high. And um, I'm hoping that when I go to the doctor this week, I'll be able to get on better pain management. I do have a pain clinic coming up, which is great. Hopefully they'll be able to help me. But in the meantime, um, as you can see, I, I just can't uh, necessarily guarantee that the video, that I'll be able to do two videos, but I will hope to. Um, I don't know if you can notice, but I am in a wheelchair. I lost the ability to walk because of this um, disease and uh, hopefully I'll have my brand new wheelchair uh, next week and I probably will be posting pictures and maybe even like an introduction video because I'm super excited. It's an awesome chair. It will let me uh, live my life a little bit better compared to this chair that I'm borrowing from the local uh, Red Cross. Um, it's it's very this chair is very very heavy and it's very much it drives like a boat um, so going around corners uh, basically doing anything is very difficult with it um, whereas my new chair drives quite well I guess if, if you want to call it that um, it can get around corners it's a lot sleeker a lot a lot more white lightweight it's it's meant for a more active lifestyle um, because before this disease uh, hit me I I was active. I actually had um, an active lifestyle. Uh, it, it's only been since June since I've gotten this disease, and um, it's been a huge change. Uh, I, I went from going for long walks, exercising, everything like that, to one day waking up and noticing that my foot hurt a lot. Um, I drove my friend home from what was it? I drove my friend home from coming over to watch videos and stuff, or movies and stuff, um, and it was sore. It felt like I had stepped on a rock. Uh, and then it proceeded to get worse and worse and worse to the point where I was limping and I couldn't walk. Um, for the longest time, we thought it was a stress fracture, so I was in a cast uh, over most of the summer. Um, I still managed to go swimming in our family pool uh, when we visited uh, my wife's family because I was darn determined and it felt really good. Um, however, once we got back and in October, I finally was to the point where I couldn't walk anymore. Um, I was walking with a cane before or crutches depending on the pain day and I just could not put any more weight on my feet without it hurting me that bad. There isn't a lot of uh, research or even a lot of treatment options for this disease. Um, it's actually quite rare. It affects women more than men. It's like every three women, one man, one man will be affected. Um, and for the longest time, it, but, well, it was discovered during the Civil War for the Americans, and for the longest time they thought it was actually a psychological disorder that somehow in your mind you were uh, making the pain or forcing the pain, um, and it wasn't until I think like the, six, the 70s or 80s that they actually realized that, oh hey, wait, this is actually a legitimate disease. It's actually doing legitimate things um, to people, and they are actually in pain. Um, there's no known cure. Uh, so this disease, even though it can go into remission, much like cancer, where um, I can receive treatment and it could 
uh, just basically somehow stop the pain, there's always a risk of it coming back. Anytime I get injured, there's a risk of it spreading. Um, it's, it's basically the worst pain you can imagine. It's being on fire and being electrocuted at the same time and constant. It, um, there's actually a special pain uh, scale for those of us with chronic pain um, and the CRAPS or complex regional pain syndrome actually is on the top above amputation, natural childbirth, and even cancer, which is amazing. Um, there's actually no foundation in Canada for this disease. In the States, they have the RSD uh, foundation um, because it used to be called regional... I can't remember, but it was RSD for the longest time, and then they changed it to complex regional. Um, so in the States, there is a foundation which can offer a lot of help for people who are affected down south. However, for a person like myself, I have to depend on doctors actually being knowledgeable. I've come across a lot of doctors that don't know what this disease is. They don't know how to treat it. Um, I've, in the past, when I've gone to the ER, uh, because my pain was so bad that I, I, don't, I didn't know what to do, um, they basically told me that Oh, well it's part of the disease just suck it up and go home um, I was very lucky to get a very understanding doctor that understood that I was in such severe pain that I could not function um, and so she was able to help me um, but it's still a challenge um, it's a challenge getting diagnosed it's a challenge getting into see specialists it's a, it's it's a huge monumental thing. Um, you have to go to a neurologist, you have to get CT scans, you have to get uh, EMG scans, which are scans of the neural pathways in your body rather than in your, like what your brain's doing. Um, and I've heard that they are actually really painful for people who have preps. So I'm not looking forward to all this testing. Um, even the slightest thing like getting my blood drawn could cause the disease to spread to that location. Um, I have lived with this now since June, like I said, and it's it's trying. So if I sometimes need some time off, or if I sometimes only can post one video, please be understanding. It's not for a lack of desire, it's for a lack of being able to. Um, as you can see behind me, we actually moved the bed downstairs into our living room because before I had to crawl up the stairs to go to bed. Um, I still have to go upstairs for a few things, but this is just like one extra thing to help me with the pain. Um, and it's it's really difficult to find uh, wheelchair accessible housing that allows cats um, in our area simply because we live on a very small island and there's actually a very limited amount of space that we can live on because there's a lot of mountains on the interior of the island and even on the uh, other side of the island. So we live on the side that's closest to the inland. On the other side, um, there's not a lot of room for people to live. Um, some people go surfing there because it's on the Pacific Ocean and you get some of the best waves in the world, um, just like Hawaii and things like that. But nobody uh, can really live there as it's, it's simply in a, in, uninhabitable by humans. Um, so everything is built up. Um, you know, the house that we live in is, is military housing because my wife's in the military and it's very narrow. Um, it's actually just built up. We have a large basement and a large upstairs and that's just how it is. So it's been a challenge to find that. It's been a challenge um, just to deal with this disease and it has changed my life completely. Um, and I, I hope none of you ever have to go through this because this pain is, is more than anybody could handle on a regular basis. Um, it's, it's just, I know it's difficult for my wife to watch me go through this and I know it's difficult for my friends and family to watch me go through this because there's not a lot that they can do. Um, because it's so painful, it's hypersensitive where even the wind, even air touching it can hurt like no other. It can hurt like you've like injured yourself severely. Um, so it makes it hard sometimes to be held or cuddled or, or 
find a way to cover the the area. Um, desensitization is actually a very painful, intense process where basically um, you that area that's affected, you repeatedly expose it to a certain stimulus, say um, socks, and repeatedly do that until your foot finally doesn't react, and you go for longer and longer and longer. And during the time that you're first desensitizing, it, it's it's almost murder. Um, I am desensitized to a few things, however, the where this new area is, it's on top of my foot, so it's hard to wear slippers that I have, simply because they rest right where it is, so I'm looking at different options for that, and yeah, um, so once again, thank you guys so much for your patience, and I really do appreciate that you guys are sticking around for me, um, and I will be posting more frequently, so just hang in there and thank you guys so much and uh yeah if you if you want please like and share this channel as well as if you want to you can like and share this uh video thank you so much and we'll see you next time i can't control that i'm just a uh, passport dude eight hours wow well it's not gonna be worth it for you because you're from Le republa republia i guess still skins only Go to hell. I'm sorry, these are the rules. I don't make the rules, I just follow the rules. Papers, please. He is Aristotelian, so we can let him in. Um, we make money based off of how many people we process, uh, so it doesn't matter if we decline them or accept them as long as we've processed them. It was a mistake to open this checkpoint. Okay. Why? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Papers, please. Here's Stutzkin. I'm not very, uh, anal about where I put the stamp. As long as the stamp is on there, I'm good with it. Uh, I try and line it up. Doesn't always happen. You are from Impor. You're not allowed in. Go away. Goodbye. See, I would at least be nicer than my character. I would have been like, oh, I'm sorry, Aristotelian's only.